Hi, it's David Davis from Train Signal and VMWareVideos.com. I don't know if you've ever been on the console of a free Hyper-V server or a Windows Core server, but honestly, this is all you get. You get this command prompt right here, uh, your C colon prompt. Uh, you can run the sconfig.cmd utility, uh, which has some very basic uh, settings you can configure for the server core system or free Hyper-V server, like the computer name, network settings, date and time, and pretty much that's about it. If you go down here to the start menu, uh, actually, hey, there is no start menu. In fact, there's no GUI utilities whatsoever. Um, Microsoft advertises, you know, that free Hyper-V is great for small businesses and everything like that. But honestly, um, I think it's rather intimidating for small businesses to, you know, get nothing more really than the C colon prompt to administer their free Hyper-V server. So uh, I was alerted to a new tool from a website called 59.com. Um, the tool is 5.9 Manager, and it's a free tool, which is why I wanted to talk about it and make a little video about it, because I really love free tools, and I think that they, they you know, deserve as much promotion as I can give them. So to run 5.9 Manager, you just type 5.9 Manager once it's installed. Um, now, the install, it's a one megabyte file you download from their website. You just have to do a free registration, and it runs this tool, which is really like um, Hyper-V Manager if you've ever used Hyper-V Manager. Uh, in fact, Hyper-V Manager is probably what Microsoft is going to tell you to install on a remote Windows 7 PC, but um, I don't know if you've ever tried that either, but actually that's a real pain, and there's a long list of instructions. You have to go to a command line, all that kind of stuff. So the cool thing about this 5.9 Manager is it's a one megabyte download. Um, it's free. Uh, you download it to your local system. You put it on a network share, and then you can run it over on your server core system or your Hyper-V server. Now, even if it's not a Hyper-V server, if it's just a server core server without the Hyper-V role, you could do a few basic things, a few basic server management features. But this tool really comes into play when you have a Hyper-V role installed. So a free Hyper-V server or a server core system with Hyper-V, or even a full uh, Windows 2008 server that has the Hyper-V role. And in fact, you can even run this tool remotely. So I could install this tool on a Windows 7 system, and then I could point it to a remote Hyper-V server, remote Hyper-V free server, and I can administer those servers remotely using this tool. So it looks a lot like Hyper-V Manager, um, but the big benefit is it's super easy to install. Uh, it's very tiny, it's completely free, and um, it actually is easier to use in some places than the Hyper-V Manager is. But the big thing that's really unique about it is that you can install it directly on the console of a free Hyper-V or server core system. And that's something you can't do with Hyper-V Manager. So it gives you a cool graphical tool on a server console that otherwise you wouldn't get anything from. You wouldn't get any sort of uh, graphical tool on. And you'd have to try to, you know, if you're like me, fumble through some command line tools to administer the free Hyper-V server if you ever had to on the console. So let me show you what it can do. Um, it's a lot like Hyper-V Manager in the sense that you have your virtual machines over here on the left-hand side. You can click on a virtual machine. You can see the resources that are in use for the virtual machine. You can go to the Management tab here, and you can configure things like the virtual machine name, uh, the integration services, uh, snapshot directory. You can go to the hardware. And this is where you would administer the virtual hardware, reconfigure the virtual hardware, number of processors, CPU, RAM, virtual disk, um, peripherals, and then there's snapshots, so you've got a snapshot manager. The other thing this tool can do is administer multiple Hyper-V servers, so that's what this drop-down box is right here. It can even give you a file explorer, so you can go up to view here, go down to select, you select the left view, and you can select a file system. And again, this is something you don't get on free Hyper-V or server core, a graphical uh, Windows Explorer-like view of the files and folders. So you could do things like copy, delete, everything like that that you would normally do in uh, Windows Explorer. You can now do on the console of a free Hyper-V or server core system. And this is what the basic server management looks like here. You can also view the events and the system services, start and stop services, filter through events, um, so it has some basic server management functionality as well. That way you could check the status of the Hyper-V services. All right, so back into the Hyper-V Manager piece here. 5.9 Manager for Hyper-V is a free application, but there is also what they call a full version. And the full version offers you two additional features. And that is that you can select a virtual machine and you could double click on the console and actually gain access to the server console of that virtual machine even from the console of a free Hyper-V or server core system. 
Um, that's on the full version. The other thing that's on the full version is administering the virtual network. So if I go up here to actions and down to the virtual network manager, um, it's the virtual network bindings, the bindings um, for the NICs that are available on the full version. You can still administer virtual networks in the free version, but it's the special binding uh, functionality uh, that you can go in and do on the full version. So it's really just those two features that are in the full version. The full version is $99 at this point. And that full version you could install on your local PC and you could even administer multiple remote uh, free Hyper-V or server core systems with that one install. So it's not per server, it's just per install and that install can administer multiple servers. So the virtual network manager, in my opinion, is actually better than what the Hyper-V manager offers. Of course, it also has a virtual disk manager here where you can create and uh, edit and inspect virtual disk. It also has Hyper-V server settings here where you can configure the Hyper-V server. So there's a lot you can do with this and I'm told that they have a lot more features on the way. It's a great free application and uh, I just wanted to reach out to everyone out there on the web uh, to go and check out this free application from 59.com. It's the number 5nine.com. I uh, hope you'll check it out and uh, try out a new free tool for free Hyper-V. Thanks for watching.